Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to learn how to install Flywheel. Flywheel is going to be the local environment that we are going to set up for WordPress. Flywheel is one of the best made for WordPress. It's very, very simple to install WordPress. All you have to do is a couple of clicks. So we're going to use it so that everything is easy for you. However, I'll also make another video showing you how to install Exam. So in this, we're just going to go on Google local by flywheel or just go to their website flywheelwp.com. Now that you are on their website, just click on free download and select which device you have. I've got a Windows, so that's the one that I'm going to select. But please do select according to yours. So I'll just fill this information. Okay, so it's downloading. We'll just double click on it to open. Okay, so um, I'll set it to anyone on my computer to access. I'll accept and I'll just install it on my main local. So now that we have this, we'll just leave it ticked so that it can run it for us straight away. So we'll just say finish and just hang fire a second for it to run it up. Okay, we'll just accept. Okay, so we'll just close this because it's just an advert. Now that we're here, we're just going to create our first website. So we'll say create. So the website name, we'll just call it about me. Okay. So that's your website name. And we'll just leave it to be preferred. And we'll just put a username. So I'll just say admin. And on the password, I'll say admin on the password and here I'll just change the email address to my email address now that I've put my email address I'll just say add website so now it's going to be building our website for us and when this building is completed we can directly access our WordPress so in a way you can literally build a website in a couple of seconds we'll just accept this accept as well allow However, while it's doing this, you can also add multiple websites. You can add up to 5, 10, 20 websites in the same environment. So this is all hosted locally for you. So now that it's been installed, now well, we, we can view the website by click on view site. And it's going to open us the website. Or we can just click on login to admin. And it will bring us to the admin logins. It might not bring this for you directly. You might need to log in with the login that you've set up at the beginning. So now that you have this, now you can still access the files as well by coming back to the panel and you can just click on this arrow and this will open you your, your website files. In here, you can go in, apps, public, and in there you have all your WordPress files. We'll look into this more as we go.